My thought of the week this week is uh, dealing with success and for something that I'm always kind of personally trying to uh, evaluate myself and uh, work on the feelings that I have that I could feel can help make me um, a better person, better, better maybe influencer, better, better leader. And uh, you only get that way by self-reflecting and, and looking at things that maybe you're not good at and how can you improve. And I think one thing too, uh, the saying, someone else's success doesn't take away from our success. But we have a habit as human beings is getting, we see somebody else doing good, it can sometimes trigger us and it makes, it brings out, a, we become judgmental and it brings out our own insecurities and our own unhappiness. And so I can say this, and when you see, really it's practice, all this is practice guys. We have, we could talk about it all day long, you actually have to fucking practice the stuff. And, and that's what I, I constantly do and I preach it and I'm practicing it daily on different things. And when I see something and I get triggered, because I get triggered on things all the time, and I have to look at myself, I go, why does that trigger me? In this book I'm reading, Judgment Detox, and we, we as human beings, we just, we get, judge, we get judgmental to protect ourselves. And it's, I think when you start understanding how like this shit works, you're able to like get deeper and deeper and deeper and like it really helps you where you can just become stress-free ultimately and that's the goal. I want to be fucking, I'm happy and I love life and I have had success and things but I, I want to be as stress-free as possible and the way you do that is by mastering yourself which it's a never-ending game but it comes in stages. And you look at, and when you see somebody else that's successful, really try to feel good for them and say, man, imagine how you would feel if you had that success. And wouldn't you want other people to be happy for your success? Or would you want people to be negative and judgmental and talk shit about you and make up shit? Like, no. So it's other people's success does not take away from our success, guys. But what does take away from our success is when you focus on other people's success in a negative way and dwell on it and try to judge them and become judgmental. If we see something and we see it with someone and, and it, it, we, maybe we just don't agree with it or we don't resonate with that person, just move on. Find somebody else that you can celebrate their success and feel good about. Because at the end of the day, accountability too, we're choosing to be upset over it and focus our direction. And I can tell you that it's a distraction from simply focusing on ourselves. That's pretty much life. There's just distractions all around us to, to stop us from self-evolving and, and from growing and self-development. And it's been placed all around us and it's more of it than, than now than ever. There's literally everything around us is a distraction and we got to find, and it's good to have some distractions and to, to live life and that's not where I'm going with this, but we, we got to be careful of how much we distract ourselves or if we're distracting ourselves in a negative way. And that is never a good thing. So other people's success, guys, does not take away from our success. Um, and that's my thought of, the, thought of the week. Yep, I like I stand by that. I like that. Hey guys, it's the big guy Ryback, back and I just want to say thank you very much for watching. Go ahead and punch that like, smash that subscribe button and check out my all natural su my all natural supplement line. Supplement supplement. Stupid. My all natural supplement line. Feed me more nutrition available on Amazon and feedmemore.com. And as always, Conversation with the Big Guy Ryback available on all podcast platforms, iTunes, Google Play, SoundCloud, and wherever podcasts are available. Never forget, feed me more.